So look, folks, it's Fan Friday. It's all about you guys and your comments on Twitter and Facebook. All anybody wants to talk about is the NBA playoffs. Let's not waste any time. Hi, everybody. I'm Dick Bajal. You're listening to JR Sports Briefs. Make sure you listen, baby. It's awesome. So I hope everybody's having a good Friday. Shout outs to everybody who hit me up on Twitter. By the way, if you didn't see my interview, quick interview earlier today with GSP from the UFC, go ahead and click right there. GSP is a cool ass dude, but we're not gonna waste any time. We're gonna talk about the NBA playoffs. Going with this first comment from Yeevees360 on Twitter. What playoff matchups do you find interesting? And it seems like that was the same question that everybody hit me up with. So let me give you guys a quick rundown on what I think about the upcoming NBA playoffs. First of all, starting off with the Bulls and Philadelphia 76ers. 76ers aren't doing a damn thing. We all know Derrick Rose might as well take his time in getting better because, hey, there's been a revolt with the 76ers. The Bulls are going to take care of them. Moving on to Miami and the New York Knicks, this is Madison Square Garden behind me. Let me say this. I don't give the New York Knicks more than two to three games. Can the Knicks push them? Absolutely. Do I think it's going to happen? No. Ultimately, I'm going with the Miami Heat. The New York Knicks with their bench, they live and die by the three. If it's not going in, the Knicks ain't popping. And then that's not to say that uh, Carmelo Anthony doesn't go out and have a murderous game or a murderous few games along with Amari Stoudemire. Let's see how his back reacts. Oklahoma City and Dallas. Dallas got rid of Oklahoma City last year. I think Dallas will push them, but Oklahoma City will get rid of them this year. Let's see what James Harden does after Ron Artest. Yes, I know the guy's legal name. Let's see what happens since uh, James Harden got murdered by that guy. Indiana and Orlando. Indiana already won. Let's just see how long it takes for them to, to get rid of them. The Lakers in Denver. Ron Artest is gone. Uh, Ty Lawson is killing. JaVale McGee is actually hitting jump hooks. Maybe one or two. He's still going to stick a few air balls. This series, I can imagine going six or seven games. Uh, the Denver Nuggets are deep. Gallo's going to get 15. Harrington's going to get 15. They're all going to ball out. But I think the Lakers will edge them in a long series. And Denver generally has problems with the Lakers. Let's see how they do without Ron Artest. The Spurs are going to take care of the Jazz. Boston and Atlanta, I think Boston will beat them in about six or seven games. We all know what Atlanta did to them a few years ago, but this time, or like the last time, or like last time, I think Boston takes care of them. The Grizzlies and the Clippers. You know what? The Memphis Grizzlies, they don't get a lot of TV time, national TV time, but I can see them basically going out and beating the Clippers. And that leads us into the next question from Prince J17 on Twitter who says, if the Clippers lose, will this season be a disappointment? I don't think so. Not by any means. I mean, this is the first year that they've really had Blake Griffin and Chris Paul together. Blake Griffin didn't necessarily have any knee trouble. And you know what? Nobody necessarily goes right into the playoffs and just starts killing everybody. Everyone has to pay their dues. Just as the Thunder from last year, they're on their own little progression. What I love about the, the playoffs this upcoming season is that it's wide open. Anybody could win. I mean, every team has its has its problems and its issues. Let's see where I was wrong. Let's see what surprises that come in. That's what make things great. I mean, at the end of the day though, I think this place is gonna be empty in a few weeks, except for the New York Rangers. What do you guys think? Hit me up on Twitter, at JL Sport Brief. Ask me for a follow so I can follow you back. Go find me on Facebook. It's New York City, it's good to be home. Other day I was in the desert. I'll catch you all later, peace.